This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 1519, Live Like You Could Lose Everything, But No, There's Nothing to Lose, and One Behavior Separates the Successful from the Average, both by Benjamin Hardy of benjaminhardy.com, and I'm Justin Mollick, the guy that reads to you every single day of the year, including weekends and holidays, to help you live a more meaningful and positive life. Two posts today, both from popular writer Benjamin Hardy, so let's get right to them as we optimize your life. Live Like You Could Lose Everything, But No, There's Nothing to Lose by Benjamin Hardy of benjaminhardy.com. For most people, the stakes simply aren't high enough. There's not enough reason to get up early and work, get off Facebook, or get into shape. Put most simply, most people don't have a compelling enough why. If they did, their whole life would be different. Life, apparently, isn't worth giving everything they've got. Most people don't want to assume greater responsibility and thus greater freedom. Responsibility is not something outside of you, nor is security outside of you, like in a paycheck. These things are internal. And the more responsibility and security you choose to have, the more you are enabled to be, do, and have. When you choose greater responsibility over your life and the welfare of others, you can't help but be compelled to live at a higher standard. You have a reason, no, a responsibility, to be and do your very best in everything you do. Such a sense of responsibility provides more than enough motivation and urgency to push through exhaustion and sometimes despair. Indeed, your why will empower you to endure any how, as Frankel explained. I can personally attest to these principles. I felt dark depression and have been whipped out. I've been without answers as to how things would work out. But somehow, they always do when I'm connected to my deeper why. Here's the paradox. You have absolutely nothing to lose. There is no downside. Quote, when I had nothing to lose, I had everything. When I stopped being who I am, I found myself. Paulo Coelho. In the book, Anti-Fragile, Nassim Taleb borrows from Seneca to explain a way to live with zero downside. To the Stoics, there is no downside. If you lend someone money and they don't pay you back, then it was your intention they have it. If they do pay you back, consider it a pleasant surprise. If your business fails, so be it. When you're anti-fragile, you actually get stronger when you experience failure and defeat, the opposite of being fragile. Ryan Holiday, borrowing from Marcus Aurelius, describes this as turning the obstacle upside down. You often can't control what happens, but you absolutely can control how you respond. Might as well turn everything to your benefit. But there's something far more fundamental than mentally reframing things to always be in your favor. You were born naked, and you will also die naked. You can't take your possessions or your success with you. Everything in your life is a gift. Being alive in the first place is a ridiculous and rare privilege. Being able to read, a gift, not earned. Having any possessions at all, a gift. Indeed, feeling entitled to anything is the most skewed and confused perspective of reality. You can't earn the right to be alive or to have anything. Everything in your life is a bonus. If you're still alive in five minutes from now, then the next five minutes are an unearned bonus. There is zero downside in life, only upside. You literally have nothing to lose. You only have to gain, hence the need for extreme gratitude. Moreover, hence the need for extreme giving. There's nothing more beautiful than improving the lives of other people. Again, it's all a gift. Why not share in the abundance? Don't you see it? Everything is abundance. All around you, everything, all benefits. Seriously, look around your physical proximity, all upside. Said Max Planck, quote, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change, end quote. When you realize that everything in your life is an unearned bonus, you don't get over-attached to what you have. You also don't get over-obsessed or jealous about what you don't have, come what may, and love it. This isn't to say you don't have creative control over what happens. Quite the contrary, gratitude is the key to abundance. Responsibility is the key to freedom. Perhaps Thich Nhat Hanh put it most simply, quote, there's no way to happiness. Happiness is the way, end quote. Conclusion. Live like everything is on the line. Every moment is priceless. Don't waste it. Know intuitively that whatever you have in your life is a bonus. You have nothing at all to lose. This approach to life will allow you to ceaselessly respond to any and all failures. It will help you not get overattached to your ego. It will help you appreciate, truly appreciate what you have. The people in your life, They are a gift. Don't take them for granted. They are beautiful. 
Go over and above for them. They deserve it. Live your life for them. Don't waste this precious gift. And I have another post in just a sec, but first, thank you to Native, which goes above and beyond many conventional deodorants. Native makes a safe and effective deodorant that's formulated without parabens, aluminum, or talc. And as an animal lover, I greatly appreciate that Native is cruelty-free and never tested on animals. Native deodorant uses ingredients like shea butter and coconut oil for their naturally antibacterial qualities. Their unique scents include coconut and vanilla and lavender and rose to keep you fresh and smelling good all day. And if you have sensitivities, there's an unscented option and formula that's baking soda free. With free shipping and 30-day free returns and exchanges within the US, it's risk-free for you to give Native a try. As for me, I filled out Native Scent Quiz on their website, which creates a custom scent made for you based on your personality. My custom product arrived within days with my name on it. I loved how it was really smooth to apply and not gritty or sticky like some other deodorants I've tried. What's not to like about a safe and effective deodorant made just for you? For 20% off your first purchase, visit nativedeodorant.com and use promo code OLD during checkout. That's nativedeodorant.com with promo code OLD for 20% off. One Behavior Separates the Successful from the Average by Benjamin Hardy of benjaminhardy.com. A certain farmer had become old and ready to pass his farm down to one of his two sons. When he brought his sons together to speak about it, he told them, the farm will go to the younger son. The older son was furious. What are you talking about? He fumed. The father sat patiently, thinking. Okay, the father said, I need you to do something for me. We need more stocks. Will you go to CB's farm and see if he has any cows for sale? The older son shortly returned and reported, Father, CB has six cows for sale. The father graciously thanked the older son for his work. He then turned to the younger son and said, I need you to do something for me. We need more stocks. Will you go to CB's farm and see if he has any cows for sale? The younger son did as he was asked. A short while later, he returned and reported, Father, CB has six cows for sale. Each cow will cost 2,000 rupees. If we are thinking about buying more than six cows, CB said he'd be willing to reduce the price 100 rupees. CB also said they're getting special Jersey cows next week. If we aren't in a hurry, it may be good to wait. However, if we need the cows urgently, CB said he could deliver the cows tomorrow. The father graciously thanked the younger son for his work. He then turned to the older son and said, that's why your younger brother is getting the farm. Successful people initiate. Most people only do what they are asked, doing only the minimum requirement. They need specific instructions on most things they do. Conversely, those who become successful are anxiously engaged in a good cause. They don't need to be managed in all things. They don't just do the job, they do it right and complete. They also influence the direction for how certain ideas and projects go. Most importantly, those who become successful initiate. They reach out to people, ask questions, make recommendations, offer to help, and pitch their ideas. Being successful requires being proactive and not waiting for life to come to you. It means you're on offense, not defense. You're active, not passive. In every organization, there are a select few employees who would be difficult to replace. For the most part, most people are like the older son in the story. Most people could be easily replaced. Most people are passive and reactive. They require specific instructions. They need to be governed and managed in all things. Initiation always involves some degree of risk. You're putting yourself out there and there is a chance you could fail. Conversely, doing only what you're told entails no risk and carries no responsibility. It's playing safe. Conclusion. Are you an initiator? You absolutely can be. But if not, one thing is for certain, life isn't going to wait for you. You just listened to the post titled, Live Like You Could Lose Everything, But No, There's Nothing to Lose, and One Behavior Separates the Successful from the Average, both by Benjamin Hardy of benjaminhardy.com. I'll leave it there for today. Hope you're having a great start to your weekend if you're listening in real time. And I'll be back tomorrow as usual where your optimal life awaits.